Hi everybody, welcome back. Right, I've got this absolutely stunning granny square to show you. The colours that I've used are really go well together. I mean, I've got this light kind of um, torpy brown, I've got cream, this sort of pistachio green, and a lovely soft pink in the middle. Now, of course, you can use any colours that you like, but these work really well. Great for summer and spring. I could just imagine this on a lovely throw on a chair um, or you can make a gorgeous blanket for your bedding for this. Now, this is uh, not my pattern. Um, I was doing some homework, as all crocheters do, to have a look around for inspiration. And I saw an image of this um, online, but it was just an image. So I have no idea who's made this, but it was just so pretty. Um, there was no instructions or anything. Uh, it was just the picture itself so i thought you know what i had a good look zoomed in as much as i could and i think done a good job <laughs> that will be for you to say right gorgeous gorgeous so i've got my four colors here oh just need to snip a bit of this and i use this lovely dusky pink got that light brown got a little bit of cream i don't really need that much and i've got the pistachio green for this uh, pattern, you will need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. That's what's gonna make it the best. And this measures about four inches again. Right then, so the first thing you want to do is make a, a magic ring for this because it's the best way for the inside of the uh, pattern. So I'll use exactly the same colors in those orders. If you like them, then, or you've got similar colors, let's go for the light brown in the middle. I'll show you how to do the, uh, before I begin, yes. So it's um, treble crochet, double crochet, single crochet, a puff, that's it. I'll show you how to do the puff when we get there, but double crochet, treble and single. So if you don't know what those are, please do practice those and come back. I do have some tutorials. I think somewhere you might have to hunt for them. Um, on how to do a magic ring even, and single crochets and double crochets, not one for the um, treble. Right, let's begin. But I'll show you the magic ring now very slowly. Grab your uh, yarn in your two fingers, whichever hand you're using. Wrap it around your two fingers and take it to the back. Put your hook through that first, and then grab that one. Pull it out, and just pinch your work there, just in case. I always say to people, pinch your work, because then as soon as you've pinched it, you can see what's going on here, rather than thinking, oh, which way does this go and which way does that go? That's your yarn that you're going to use to tighten up your work, and that's your working yarn. Right, let's begin. Just make it a bit smaller, just pull the little one. First thing you want to do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. That will count as a double crochet and a chain one. Go into the ring and do a double crochet. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Then chain one. Do that again, double crochet, chain one. That first chain three will act as one. We need eight in total. So you're placing eight double crochets, <clears throat> excuse me, with a chain one in between. You can slow me down in playback options and you can put captions on, okay, if there's any problems. One, two, three, four, five, six, chain one and seven double crochets, chain one, eight double crochet and chain one. Grab your little tail there, pull your work so it's nice and tight. You can always come back and tighten it a bit more and go to the top of... <coughs> Excuse me, we did a chain four here. You want to go on top of chain three. If you're, for any reason, not sure which one it is, there's your double crochet. That'll be your chain one. Just go to the one next along. Okay, so there's the one that's the chain one in the middle. And do a slip knit, uh, slip, knit? <laughs> slip uh, stitch. You can chain one now and cut your yarn because I am cutting yarns and weaving them in. There's no drag here. 
and that's the center little thing. Now, grab your pink, if that's what you're doing. You can do any color, lilac or red, whatever you wish. Go to any chain space, pop your hook in, make sure you've got it the right way around and join your yarn. How you join your yarn, I just do this. Grab it in my fingers and pull it through. Okay. Grab some more yarn off of this ball. Okay. You can just hold that for a second just to give you some tension. The pink at the back with your finger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chain three. Now you now what you're going to do is a puff, a six wrap puff. So in order to do that, yarn over, go into that same space, pull up a loop, that's one. Yarn over, go in again, pull up a loop, that's two. Yarn over, go in again, pull up a loop, that's three. Make them nice and neat. Yarn over, go in again, that's four. Yarn over, go in again, that's five. And your very last one, six. I'm not sure how many loops there are. We can count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and thirteen. You want to pull through everything. Okay? That's going to be your first puff. Then, once you've pulled it through, one, two, and three. Do your three chains. Go into the next space and do exactly the same. Six wrap puff. I'll show you again one more time. Yarn up, go into the space, pull up a loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Be careful not to drop anything. It can happen. One, two, and three. You can work this one around if you want to. Next space. Wrap always yarn over before going in. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull through everything and chain three. You want to do eight in total, okay? Remember to chain your three in between. And if you ever get stuck or lose a few, just do it again, it's not worth it. This is probably the only trickiest part because you've got a lot of um, loops and chains to hold. I'll keep my brown next to me. Three chains in between. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got two more. I'll just leave that now. Very last one. Three. Four five and six chain three and when you get to this stage you want to go into that can you see that little eye there on top of the puff go into there and do your slip stitch chain one and cut your yarn now you can either do this as you go along This one I could just get rid of because I've put it through. Actually, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do. 
Right, so that's the uh, second row. Now to the um, green. Again, we're working into a space. So any space you wish to go into, grab your green. In my case, it's green, well, pistachio, very pretty colour. Join your yarn. Just hold that for a minute. Chain three, two double crochets. Yarn over, go in, pull off a loop <clears throat> and pull through two twice. And one more. So that will class as three double crochets. Chain two and th three double crochets. Now what we're going to do is we're missing this one. We're just doing the corner so we need to go over here. And in order to do that, we're just going to chain four, one, two, three and four. We go straight into miss one space and go into that one and do three double crochets. One, two and three. Chain two and another three double crochets. Oh, did I pull something up? Yes, I did. Just that pink. Okay. That's one corner, that's the other corner. Chain four, miss that one, go to the next one, and three double crochets. Chain two, and three double crochets. We need to go to here, so chain four. And for your last corner, which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Please do put the volume up as well. I'm trying my best to speak up, <laughs> but like I said, I'm just recovering from a cold. And find your chain three at the top and do a slip stitch okay and cut your yarn here that's row three and this is what we have so far now we will get the cream and join the cream into any corner let's go for this one chain three and do let me just check actually was it three or two at this point it's two so one double crochet chain two and two double crochets so we did three here and three three double crochets chain two three on this round, it's two double crochets, well, chain three and a double crochet, which act as two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. You want to, you've got your three double crochets here now. So go onto the top and do your three double crochets. One, two and three. This is the bit that um, is the, we're going to work three treble crochets into the space, but we're taking both these things together. So that's why it gives it that lovely sort of inny feel. 
wrap the yarn around twice, go into here, at the other end, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. It's also because <clears throat> we're going lower, so we need to use a treble crochet. Yarn over twice, going again for another treble. Did I do three? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking my pattern. Like I said, it's so yarn over twice, get into that same space again. Pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. You can take this green yarn with you now. So you've got your three double crochets here. So go into the first one and do a normal double crochet like we did on this side. Two and three. We're into the corner now. So that will be two double crochets. One and two. Chain two and two double crochets, three double crochets. Do you apologize? I think you can hear my granddaughter in the background. I think she's just woken up. And three treble crochets into that space there. One. Two, three trebles into there. I'll just drop this now. Three double crochets on top of these three double crochets. One, two, and three. Corner is two double crochets. Chain two. And two double crochets, three double crochets on the following, on the next three double crochets. And um, <clears throat> trebles, three trebles, wrap the yarn around twice, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. You want three of those. Three double crochets here. <clears throat> Remember, please do slow me down if I'm going too fast. But I think you've got the hang of this, hopefully. And so I'm just working at my normal speed. I've got one more round to do after this, and we're done. Three double crochets on top of here. And the very last bunch of the trebles which go on to here. It's one, two, and three. And the very last three double crochets here. And three and you want to slip stitch into the top of that chain three chain one and cut your yarn really pretty now this is I had like I said I looked at the, the um, picture and I thought mm, they're not worked into they're worked in between so the single crochets are worked slightly differently on this last little bit but it's just as easy I'll show you how to do that let me just check yes so grab the color it's normally what you just used in the center but you can of course use another one but chain one just to secure it there pop it in a single crochet and another single crochet chain two and two more single crochets so originally down here where were we 
no, sorry, I'm thinking of another pattern. So two single crochets, chain two and two single crochets that will form your corner. The next thing you want to do, like I said, we're not working on top of the stitch, we're working in between the stitch. So move along, there's your three double crochets, go in between. Can you see? To so go into there, go into there. That's what kind of gives it this, how can I explain it? Almost like a watercolour, when the colours sort of just blend into the other colour. And just keep going all the way across. I won't give you a stitch count because I didn't, don't have one. But you can quite clearly see if you followed um, how you should, we should be on the right track. Can you see by placing them in between how pretty they look? Maybe it makes it even look more natural, if that makes any sense. There's one here. There's one double crochet here. You can actually take the cream with you now if you want to. And then when the next one will be the centre. So it's two, one, and two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Go not on top of the stitch, go in between the space and do your single crochets all the way across. Don't miss the one in between your two double crochets here. Then corner, two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Go straight into the next space for the next one. And you want to do this all the way around. Absolutely pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Last corner, two single crochets, chain two. Oh, the yarn's getting all jumbled up. Got my white in there, I've got my green in there. I wonder what's happened here. Ah, rescued. Okay. <clears throat> and then one, two, three. Like I said, I didn't have a count, but I'll just do one for you on this last one. So after you've done that, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one more between these two, twelve. And slip stitch to that first single crochet here. Chain one and cut your yarn. And we are done. That's how you make this gorgeous pattern. Now, <clears throat> I've woven in the ends here. I won't take the time to show you now because I don't want to take too much of your time. The ones where you've dragged through, like I've dragged this pink one, you can just simply cut off. I think I also dragged this green through. I can cut that one off. Any more? Yes. Cream. Give it a tug so it's nice and neat and cut that one off and um, make a knot because we've done a magic circle if we did chain three or chain four worked into that area then you wouldn't need to do the, the center piece but make a knot uh, a couple of knots with your needle and then weave in your green into your green cream into your cream pink back into your pink and then this last bit can just go across this way if that makes sense so just up one down one and up one that's all you need to do right guys i hope you like these squares like i said they're not mine but they're absolutely stunning and i made one and i thought right 
and there was no pattern either. I couldn't find the pattern. If anyone knows the pattern, then great. If not, it is not that difficult. Thanks, guys, for watching. I've got a thing for squares. <laughs> um, so, hope you like this one. And um, go ahead and try them. Experiment with colours. Like I said, I've used a 3.5. I think it works better with the 3.5. You don't want it to be too spacey. I don't know. Is there a word when there's too many holes in your work? I keep calling it spacey. I presume it's spacey. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Please do subscribe, like and share and um, take care. And I'll see you very soon.